Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WordPress WooCommerce Event Manager plugin and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you the workflow at the customer and the admin end. So within the customer end we'll be showing you how the customers can view the upcoming events, how they can add the events to their Google Calendar and how they can uh, purchase the event tickets there. Apart from that for the admin's workflow I'll be showing you how to create the event tickets how to give the orders for the respectively created event and the initial configuration that is required before making use of this plugin at the store front end. So before I proceed to the uh, web store front end to show you the uh, workflow at the customer's end, uh, let's, uh, uh, let, me uh, let me give you a small gist about this plugin. So basically it uh, facilitates the store owner to add the events uh, within their WooCommerce store and the admin can basically define the various types of tickets and can add price and the quantity for the respective e-tickets being created. Apart from that, the users would be able to synchronize the events within their Google Calendar. Also, a different page has been created that will basically list all of the events and from here the users would be able to add their location and the radius which then displays the current event according to the address entered. So now let's go to the front end and let's see how this particular WordPress WooCommerce Event Manager plugin by Webcool works. So let me take you to the WooCommerce Web Store front end now. So right now I'm at the WooCommerce Web Store front end as you can see. And on the left hand side we have the login section. So I've entered my username password and now I'll be logging into my customer account. Uh, otherwise the customers uh, or the users can also directly go to the upcoming events by tapping here on the upcoming events link so basically this is a, a different page that we have created so be it a login customer or be it a guest they can basically come and directly open this upcoming events so let me open that up in another window and for now I'll just log into my account so that I can check out uh, thereafter without any issues so I'll just tap on the login button and in the meantime let me show you the upcoming events page so here's the upcoming events page and at the very top we have search location for events and then we have the search radius below that we have the map that displays uh, the events and uh, below that we have the complete listing of the events that the admin has created from the admin backend panel and for each of the uh, events, you can uh, see the event start time, the end time, the price. Apart from that, you can see the buy ticket option or the button and you can also see the add event. Tapping here on the add event would uh, eventually lead you to adding this particular event to your Google Calendar itself. And buy ticket helps you out in directly purchasing this particular ticket. You can also navigate directly to the uh, product page by tapping on this particular product. So uh, I'll show you that what are the different uh, uh, different uh, details there on the event uh, uh, product page. So here we on, are on the product page now. So this is the singer's night and the cost is $700 and the ticket type is like for VIP. So the event location is in Germany, the event start uh, time, end time, and then we have the option total, then the final total. So from here, the uh, customers can basically add this particular event directly to their card. Apart from that, they can also see the related events just uh, at the end here, as you can see. And uh, on the right hand side also, you can just hover your mouse to check the different uh, uh, events that are there that you can check out. So now let me take you to my account section once again. So I, I've logged into my account and now let's go to the upcoming events. Now on the upcoming events page, what I'll do is I'll be entering my uh, location. So I'll choose it as San Jose and uh, for the search radius, I'll set it as five uh, kilometers there and I'll tap on the search button thereafter. Now what this does is that here you can see that uh, we are currently uh, being uh, displayed the San Jose area here and according to San Jose we'll be able to see uh, the different uh, events that are going to be there for the San Jose. So here you can see that we have the magic show event. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, 
tap on this particular event to check the details of this event in the meantime let's uh, see how we can basically add the event to our google calendar for that i'll just tap on the add event but event button takes us to the accounts.google.com uh, sign in page and from here you can enter your google uh, username and thereafter you just need to enter your what we say as uh, the password as well so here you just need to tap on the allow button thereafter and then it would redirect you back uh, to your uh, upcoming event section so that uh, that was how we can add the events to the Google Calendar so after that uh, now let's see how we can purchase a, a event a ticket so for that let me come down to the magic show that's near San Jose uh, the location that we had entered so here you can see that uh, the uh, ticket cost is uh, $1,500 and the ticket is for kids or adults and the event location is San Francisco California USA the start and the end time option total 50 and the final total is 1550 so now let me add this particular event ticket to my cart and thereafter we will make a checkout so uh, the product has been added to my cart and now I'll just proceed to the checkout or let, let's go to the cart uh, page first so here you can see that uh, we are able to check the details of the product that's the event uh, the magic show and the info regarding the event as well and here we have the price and the quantity as well now we'll just tap here on the proceed to checkout button to make a purchase for this particular event ticket within the WooCommerce web store itself so here we are on the uh, checkout page our address has been already entered so now I'll choose the uh, method or the payment method and then I'll place the order for the event ticket itself and you can see that the order has been received and the tickets are booked successfully here we have the order number 642 and the total is $1550 apart from that you can also see the event details here the total the event details the magic show event option for the kids option price 50 and the uh, event location along with the start and the end time and here you can see that we have uh, made a com total payment of $1550 using the cash on delivery option so that was how uh, the customers can basically uh, place the orders for the uh, event tickets within your WooCommerce web store by navigating to the upcoming uh, section first and on the upcoming events here the customers can enter their uh, zip code or their city, city or their address name and can enter the uh, search radius as well thereafter they just need to tap on the search button and according to the entered uh, search location the different events would be visible to the customer apart from that all of the events are also listed here on the upcoming events page itself and the customers can also browse from here and uh, on this particular page you can basically choose the add event button to add this any of the uh, events to your google calendar and to buy the tickets you just need to tap on the buy ticket button here that navigates you to the respective product page for that particular um, event ticket so now uh, after we have done with the customer flow let's go to the admin backup panel and let's see how the admin would be able to uh, create the event tickets with the orders for the respectively created events and how we can make the initial configuration that is required before making use of this plugin at the storefront so for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now also one more thing is here that uh, the customers can basically check the order details under their account panel by navigating to the order section so I just forgot that I'll just show you the details of the uh, event ticket that we have just purchased under our uh, my orders section so here I'm on the orders page and here we are having the order number 642 and let me tap on the view button and that would display the complete details of the event ticket uh, that the customer has purchased so here you can see that we have the event details the subtotal the payment method and the complete total for the same so now let me take you to the admin backend panel 
so here I'm at the uh, backend for the WooCommerce uh, store and uh, here the admin just needs to log into his account panel so I'll just enter my username password and I'll be tapping on the login button thereafter so after the admin has successfully installed uh, this particular plugin the admin would be able to see the WooCommerce event manager option here on the left hand side panel as you can see and below that we have two different options one is the events orders and the other one is the settings so uh, for the initial configuration settings we'll navigate to the settings uh, submenu option under the WooCommerce event manager so uh, under the event settings here we have the Google Calendar account settings so for the time zone you need to choose your time zone thereafter you will be uh, selecting your you you need to enter your client id client secret and the client redirect url so uh, these details can be fetched from the uh, google account itself so well, let me show you that so for uh, for the same what you can do is you can check the user guide that uh, for which i already attached the link within the description below and you can just navigate to the section that is creating project created credentials and here we have already shown how to create the product credentials so uh, basically the google api project credentials are required to configure this plugin and you can tap here on this particular link to create a new project uh, with your google account and after you've created your google account you'll be able to uh, see your what you say as the credentials as you can see here and you also need to enter the url and the redirect url uh, for the same now let me take you back to the settings so you'll get the client id client secret you need to enter those up here uh, from the google and then you need to enter the uh, client redirect url so after you've entered your uh, gmail address while adding the uh, event to the google calendar and uh, thereafter after you provide the access to the web cool app there you need to enter the redirect URL so that would be the redirect URL of their of your own store so here as you can see we have redirected the customer back to the upcoming events section and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button so that was the initial configuration for the Google Calendar account settings now let's go to the event orders so here we are on the event uh, list section under the event orders so WooCommerce event manager then event orders so here we are having the list of all of the events that the admin has created so here the admin can see the event name the event image the total number of orders for each of the events so for example here for the summer pool party we have three orders uh, for the beauty uh, pageant, pageant we have five and similarly the rest and we also have the base prices as well so from here the admin basically can edit view and view the complete orders for each of the respective uh, order uh, events so for example uh, we have the summer pool party so if i choose the view orders option or the link if i tap the view orders link i'll be uh, navigated to the complete orders that have been placed for the summer pool party event itself so let's come to the event section so here you can see the e-ticket order list is visible for the product name that's the summer pool party and here you can see that three orders have been placed for this particular event now let's go back apart from that the admin can add the event uh, by tapping here on the add event button at the top and that would bring up the section to create a new event so to create a new event you just need to enter your product name uh, you can choose your categories for example events and then you can enter the description here apart from that you can set the regular price so after entering your your product name the description for the product uh, under the product data here you just need to choose the uh, e-tickets as you can see and you need to check this particular uh, checkbox here and after that uh, this would create this particular e-ticket for the customers so after you've uh, chosen the product data type as e-ticket and check the virtual here uh, you need to navigate to inventory and uh, you need to enable the manage stock option here so that it enables the stock management at the product level so we'll check this option 
now we can set the stock quantity as per our own requirement and uh, thereafter we'll navigate to the e-ticket section so here we can enable the enable the terms and conditions uh, we can set the event terms then now uh, we can choose the start uh, date and the end date for the event we can choose the event location so you just need to ta tap that up you need to uh, enter a few uh, uh, characters of your address or the location and it would automatically uh, bring that up for you and thereafter after you have set your event terms and the rest uh, like the event start event end and event location you need to go to the e ticket options and from here you can add new options for your ticket itself and tapping that up brings the title price stock sort order and action column so basically here you can set the uh, like you can set the uh, ticket types are uh, as uh, VIP normal and you can set different prices for them as well so now let me uh, take you to the uh, one of the products that I've already created so for that uh, let's go to the event events order section once again and uh, for this one let's edit this particular event ticket that we have already created so here we are on the edit product uh, for the e-ticket and here you can see that we have set the uh, product name the description after that we have set the product data as e-ticket and we have chosen the virtual type thereafter we have navigated to the e-ticket section here we have enabled the terms we have entered the terms for the event itself then we have set the event start and the end time and we have entered the event location there after that we have uh, gone to the e-ticket options and from here you can add multiple options for your e-ticket for example for ladies and for gents we have set the price and the stock units and the sort order as well so you can also remove any of the edit options from here and lastly you just need to tap on the uh, create a product button and that would create your uh, what we say as the event e-ticket uh, for use so uh, that was much about the uh, wordpress woocommerce event manager and if you still have any queries questions suggestions or requirement uh, for this particular plugin then uh, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead